Hi friends, it's Lisa, and you are at home with Imagine If. Um, what's all this? Are we really going to do a story time about underwear? We are. Okay, we do it at the library, so we may as well do it at home. Underwear. Grown-ups, why would we do a story about underwear? Well, because it's fun and makes everybody laugh, but also because undies are often kind of a new and exciting experience for some of our... Um, some of our youngest library goers <laughs> so um and they're not embarrassed by underwear and why should they be because underwear are so fun so who wears underwear anyway you do right maybe kind of most of the time you do so um do cats i got my cats right here do cats wear underwear no what about um stuffies do stuffies wear underwear Sometimes. What about grown-ups? Do grown-ups wear underwear? You have to ask. You, have, you all have to ask a grown-up. Teachers, librarians, librarians wear underwear. I promise. I should know, right? Um, babies. Do babies wear underwear? No, babies don't. Babies wear diapers or nappies. Some people call them nappies. Um. Hmm. Hey, Nula my cat. Do you wear underwear? She says no, she doesn't. All right, well, let's do a little game with all of these underwears, all of these undies. So first of all, you need to take a really good look at these. We're going to count them together and we're going to talk about the colors because I am going to make one of these disappear. All right, and then you are going to have to guess which one is gone. So I'm going to do that a couple times. So first of all, we've got, let's count them. So we've got one, two, three, Oh no! They fell on Nula. All right, let's put them back up there. They don't stick very well. I better not touch them. Now we have to start again. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six pairs of underwear. And we've got, what color is this? Yeah, blue, white, yellow, purple, stripey, pink polka dot and yeah green with a little dinosaur so i'm gonna cover these up i'm gonna use my sweater and i'm going to make one disappear and you're gonna have to remember which ones are here and see if you can guess are you ready okay i'm gonna see if i can hide all of these and make one of them disappear We've only got one, two, three, four, five. Which one is gone? All right, if you know, call it out right now. Yell it out, you don't even have to raise your hand. Did you guess? Oh, the purple ones. All right, I'm gonna put it back. I'm gonna make another one disappear. You're gonna have to guess. Remember where they are. I might mix them up this time. You ready? I'm going to mix them up. Okay. I'm going to block them off. <gasps> Look at that! Can you, can you remember? Can you figure it out? Which one is missing? We've only got one, two, three, four, five. Which one's missing? Call it out. Did you guess? The pink polka dots? Did you guess? All right, we'll come back to that. Maybe we'll do it again, but we're, I'm gonna read you a story right now. An underwear story. And this one is by Mem Fox, who is a um, Australian author that I really, really like. And she writes funny books. This book is called A Particular Cow. Particular, kind of, which means individual or sort of, sort of special. She is a sort of a special cow. And it's illustrated by Tony, oh sorry, by Terry Denton. All right, a particular cow. Got some flowers in our end paper. A particular cow. And um, it's got a dedication, and that means the, the author and the illustrator get to um, dedicate 
their book to somebody. They get to sort of pick somebody out to say that this book is for them. That's their little dedication. For Terry Denton, a particular hero. And for Evie, who went for a particular walk. And the cow right here is saying, oh, sunny day. And I'll show you that close. When there's little speeches in little speech bubbles here, it means that the character is talking. So there's lots of speech bubbles in this book. Every Saturday morning, a particular cow went for a particular walk. Usually nothing particular happened. And this, there's a little rabbit down there saying, hey cow. And our cow is waving. Until one particular Saturday when she found herself on the wrong side of a particular pair of bloomers. What? Now, bloomers is a, another word, kind of an old-fashioned word for undies, underwear. Or in England, we call them knickers. And the cow says, <coughs> And a particular woman, uh-oh, my bloomers, she says. Uh-oh. I foresee trouble. Cow can't see. And a particular postman. And he says, my mail. Uh-oh. And three particular dogs. Uh-oh. Oh, I made a barking sound and my cat just woke up. And a particular party of children. A cow! A what? Hmm. And a particular bridegroom. And that's when two people are getting married, you call the, the man side of that. The bridegroom. Blooming thief, my lovely letters. Holy cow. And a particular bride. Uh oh, it's a woman who's getting married. Oh no. They're going in. And a particular gang of sailors. And the frog over here is saying, croak. And this guy here is saying, blimey. And these, the, the people getting married, are saying, I do. They're getting married in the, in the lake, river. Woof, mayday, who almost sank in a particular river. Oh my goodness, it's a bit of a disaster. On account of this particular cow that we're talking about. And our cow says, land ho! Look at all that, she's caused an awful lot of trouble. Who leaped from the boat in spite of her size. And the little turtle down here says, incoming! <laughs> Tossed her tail at the summer flies. Even the flies get some dialogue up here. This little fly says, stinky! And this little fly says, yum! <laughs> and went on her way without surprise. And this little, uh, I think that's a rabbit. This little rabbit says, hi, cow. And the little turtle over here says, cow's back. She's heading for home. On that particular Saturday morning. And the little turtle says, good walk, cow. And cow gives a little wink. Uneventful enough. Nothing really happened, did it? Do those end papers make sense now? I think. I think they're uh, the undies. Same pattern. I like that one. All right, so we do a song. So we do an underwear song. It's a little hard to find songs about underwear because you know, underwear. But I bet I have a song that I bet you know. It's called Heads and Shoulders, Knees and Toes, and my little bear friend is going to help me to do it. So, because um, it's a little bit hard for me to stand up while I'm sitting here and I can't move my camera, so um, 
my little bear is going to do it. So instead of saying, so we're the way we're going to do this is it's going to be heads, shoulders, knees, and undies. All right. So we're going to go heads, shoulders. Ooh, this is going to be tricky. <laughs> knees and undies, knees and undies. That's how I'm going to do it. All right. And then when we get to eyes and ears and mouth and undies. Okay. It's going to be pretty fun. You ready? Will you sing along with me? Because it's really much more fun when I have some help from all my little boys and girls. All right, ready? Heads, shoulders, knees and undies, knees and undies. Heads, shoulders, knees and undies, knees and undies. And eyes and ears and mouth and undies. Heads, shoulders, knees and undies, knees and undies. Can we do that again? One more time. All right, let me see if I can perch. All right, maybe I'll put him up here. How about that? That might be easier. Heads, shoulders, knees and undies, knees and undies. Head, <laughs> shoulders, I got it wrong. Shoulders, knees and undies, knees and undies. And eyes and ears. A mouth and undies, and shoulders, knees and undies, knees and undies. <laughs> oh, thank you guys for playing with me. This is way too fun, too silly. I got another silly book. It's even sillier than the last book because old books about underwear are pretty silly. It's called Underwear and it's by Jen Harney pictures and words. All right. It's about a little bear, like my little bear, who's going to wear some underwear. And there's an awful lot of rhyming in this book. So as, as you know, I've told you this lots and lots of times, but rhyming is really important for early liter literacy because it helps develop um, those patterns of language and speech. And it's a really fun way of um, expanding vocabulary and learning new words. So, what have we got for our end papers? They look a little bit like some of my undies there. Underwear. And this book is for Roy and Peg. That's who the book's dedicated to. And I see some footprints, maybe on a hmm, bathroom floor, I think. Bear, bear. Oh, and no, that's interesting too. It's two different, two different words spelled differently, different letters, but they both sound the same. Um, so bear, that bear means naked. This bear means the bear. So naked bear, bear, bear. Stop right there. You should be wearing underwear. the underwear. Underwear? Underwear. Underwear? Over there? Over where? On the chair. Under there? Up the stairs? Right there. On the chair, there's a pair of underwear. Hmm. That's a grumpy... Data, I think, maybe. Grumpy data bear. White pair, tight pair. Big tear. Uh oh. Big tear in that underwear. Here's a spare. Hmm, where to wear this underwear? Up there? Down here? Over there? Wear underwear. Do you think this bear knows? I think this bear is playing around with his underwear. Or everywhere! You can wear your underwear. <laughs> oh my goodness, look at this. You can wear it like that. Like that. Uh oh. Oh yeah. Uh oh. <laughs> what? Do you like to mess around with your underwear? It's kind of fun. Mm hmm. Underwear makes awesome hair. <laughs> oh my goodness. 
Hey, look there, it's Super Bear and Goggle wearing Aqua Bear. What the heck's going on in there? Data again. Uh oh. Uh oh, no time to spare. Quick, I gotta hide somewhere. Lights go out. Beware, Big Bear. Here comes a scare. Ah! Uh oh, what's happening? What's happening? Dad is gonna trip and fall on all that water. Slippery. No fair. Go and grab a dry new pair. Ooh, more underwear. Uh oh, wait. <laughs> Oopsies. Underwear? Is that underwear? Don't make me glare. It's kind of an angry look. Jammy bear. Let's read in the chair. Tired bear, yawning bear? Well, time for bed, I do declare. Oh. Sleep tight, sweet bear, snugly tucked in under there. Oh. Underwear? And Dad says, I didn't say underwear. I said, under there. Underwear? <laughs> well, thank you for reading my silly books with me and singing my silly songs with me. Um, this is the time in story time where I would normally um, show you all the fun activities I have for you. But since we, um, since you're at your home and I'm at my home, instead I'm gonna tell you about them and make some suggestions, all right? So the first thing, um, I've got is at the library we often like to paint and draw oh it's stuck it's stuck with a piece of paper um we often like to paint and draw so i made some a, like a kind of a template i'm having a hard time getting this out shows that i was not very prepared oops that's my tape there we go here it is i made some templates for some underwear so they're super simple like that just draw a big pair of underwear and you can draw a few different styles frilly some people like frilly underwear some people like a little shorty short underwear and um kiddos at the library just draw color paint however they want to do it um sometimes with those dot markers or paint sticks and we, when, when everybody's done, we hang them up on a line. So if you want to do a few pairs of those, then you can hang them on a line and they'll look like you've just done your laundry. So that's one activity. Um, another fun activity that um, I used to do with my daughter because, because she loved underwear <laughs> when she was about, um, about your age. She really liked to play with underwear. She kind of still sometimes does, but she, don't tell anybody. Um, we would hide undies we'd find about four or five maybe ten <laughs> pairs of underwear and we'd hide them around the house and when I say hide grown-ups I you know in plain sight so they'd be somewhere silly so you might hide you might hide um hide them somewhere where not too high up so, so you can't reach them but for instance I'm gonna have to show you on my little bear but I would always make sure that I would hide a pair somewhere really silly like like this. And while my daughter ran around the house looking for the underwear, they'd be... Because that's pretty silly. Um, and anyway, so an underwear scavenger hunt could be really fun. And another fun thing that you can do with a pair of undies is... Um, and I've got a hair tie here. So you kind of roll them up into a little ball. And then take a hair tie or a um, rubber band to secure to secure your little bowl and er, then you've got you got a little throwable object 
and we do all kinds of things with little throwable objects at the library but one of the fun things we do is we make big letters or big numbers and we'll tape them up and that's as a target and then we'll take our little ball and ha! <laughs> whoops I dropped all my little knickers on my cat's head but anyway it's kind of a fun thing that you can do it's a way of if, if you're working on letter sounds or um, numbers you can say the sound you can you can say um, oral colors throw the undies at the yellow or throw the undies at the letter that makes the sound or however whatever you want to practice um, and my last activity which is uh, pretty silly really silly actually um, I'm gonna have to show you my daughter's gonna help me in just a second um, but I'll explain it first so when she was very little we she started to do this goofy thing where we have a doorway in our house um, where she can walk back and forth and um, it, it, it frames almost like a little stage so she will walk back and forth doing goofy things so uh, you could put on if you have a doorway in your house like that where you can walk back and forth and the other people can be your audience you can walk back and forth doing silly things with under underwear and I'll I'm gonna show you in just a second all right um, so those are my ideas my suggestions just have fun underwear are really fun just have fun with them and uh, I hope you enjoyed the stories in the books and uh, hang on for the for the little doorway um, doorway undie show if you want to but uh bye from me